Too easy. Um, well, thank you very much for everyone coming today. Um, I'd just like to uh, you know, announce that I'm retiring from the AFL at the end of this season. Uh, my aim will be to play the last two home games. So that's something I'm really looking forward to because that's what I love about the game is, is playing it. Um, you know, for me, it all started back at Angerson Football Club when I was a younger fella. Started playing at age uh, five and it was modified, called Modifieds then, not Auskick. And we used to just play across the 50 junction. And, um, you know, Angerson, where we're from, used to have a lot of fog or a lot of dew. So sometimes you couldn't sit down the other end. Um, so you didn't really know where you were kicking. But as a young fella, that was some of the best um, memories I have of my junior career. So to the Angerson Football Club, I thank you very much for, this, for the start that I had. I was then fortunate enough to go to Central Districts Football Club. Um, I played under underage football there, some reserves and some senior um, games in the league. Uh, and I was very fortunate enough to be able to be a part of two premierships there. And that was where I learned how to play the game and what it was all about. It's all about winning. Um, it's all about um, your teammates and um, aiming to play in premierships, which I was fortunate enough to do. So that, that, that helped me and set me on my um, path but the thing that I took from that was, you know, the, the, the purpose and the intensity uh, in the way you train. Um, there were some fantastic players at Central Districts where um, they had AFL experience and were some very seasoned players. Uh, and they took me under my wing. And I've always been very, um, I suppose, you know, indebted to that to um, uh, just... Just to, just to help what the game was about, and I've been trying to do that um, ever since I've um, you know, been in this football club, just to try to help others understand what the game's about. Um, with that, I've got to play at Northern Districts Cricket Club as well for a um, two-year period from my junior days, and um, that, that was similar. I played in a premiership uh, well, a grand final there, which we won. Um, but I had numerous players that had played state-level cricket. Um, some had represented um, internationally for Australia. And again, they were just the ones that taught me about you know, hard-nosed sport, um, you know, playing against you know, men as a, as a young fellow, I think really helped me with my development. So to, to those two football clubs, I thank you very much. Uh, to put one football club, one cricket club, thank you very much. Um, I've got many people that have helped me along the way in my junior days uh, before I was here at West Coast. So I just want to th say thank you to you all. Um, but I've had numerous coaches um, but I'd just like to make a special mention to John Nash and to Mick Weatherald, who are my junior coaches uh, in the cricket. Uh, they just taught me about the basics of the game, which is um, something I think is really important to being successful. My um, couple of senior players at Central Districts Football Club were Rob Brown and Roy Laird. Uh, they were fantastic, as well as Russell Thompson at Northern Districts Cricket Club. So thank you very much. My family um, have been a big part um, in moulding me, and growing up on the farm was was um, you know brilliant upbringing for myself and my sister who's here today. Um, you know, mum and dad taught us the importance of teamwork, um, doing your best and never giving in, and that's that's something that I've always tried to keep. Um, sister used to be my kicking partner, um, so she's got better as time's gone on. <laughs> Um, but, you know, on the farm, that was some of the best memories I had with her, was just kicking the footy. Um, you know, if she dropped it, you always tell her to, you know, mark it and kick it back because you got sick of chasing after it. But, um, you know, she was, she was brilliant and it's been a great support for me. But as well as with that, my grandparents, they'd come along to pretty much all the games that, that I played as a junior. Um, and they really supported me, so thank you to all them. I've got the thanks um, for a lot of people at West Coast. Um, coming over here. My first, um, I suppose, bit was to the host family, um, the Gregories, who opened up their doors themselves and their whole, whole family. Um, I think it's a great thing the club has is, is from interstate players and sometimes from Western Australia is having a host family to come into. Um, it just helps the transition a little bit, but also gives you a bit of release um, um, outside of football. So I was fortunate enough to be able to go to the Gregory's and they loved their sport and some of their kids have been very successful and I want to say thank you very much to yourselves. Uh, Stapes and Serge, you know, thank you very much for your friendship and your advice. Um, I've spoken to you uh, this morning, but you know, it's much appreciated. To Simo and Woosha, you know, I just, 
The impact you had on myself and the club has just been massive. You know, Woosher in my early days, just about the same thing, about what's required to be a good player and a good person. And Simo's contributed to that. And um, you know, to be able to win a premiership under um, you know, Adam Simpson has been one of my highlights. So thank you very much, mate. You've you helped us um, be able to live out my dream of pl playing AFL footy. Uh, to all my coaches at the club um, that I've had all over my time, but a special mention to all my backline coaches, I uh, just want to say thanks for teaching me how to defend. Um, you're giving, you give guidance, but you let, um, you let me work it out. I think that's one of the key things about being a good coach is you need to give direction, but you also need to be able to let um, the individual work it out for themselves. So I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Strength and conditioning staff, um, just to um, help get my body right every, every year. Um, that's through recovery, the pre-seasons, fitness. Um, as you get older, learning how to recover as well. Um, you know, I, it, it's great to be able to bounce things off you, so thank you. Um, with that, special mention to uh, Warren Coford, who's probably been 15 years in my career, and he, he got the best out of my body. I just want to say thank you as well to the medical team, you know, all the doctors, physios, trainers, and the masseuses. Um, you know, again, when you're younger, you probably don't need as much treatment. And when you're older, you um, use all your time up on the bench later on. So thanks for your, your time. Um, you know, it's been great and um, continue to go for the next month. But you know, to all the volunteers as well, um, yourselves that give your time to the footy club, uh, you do all the stuff in the background which um, goes unnoticed, but as we always talk about, small things make a big difference and that's what makes football clubs. So thank you to all of them. Um, Nizzy and the board members that I've had over my time, thanks very much. Um, been a great support for, for myself, but for the team, but also the success that you've contributed to West Coast being where it is, is, is amazing. So thank you. And I've probably missed a few people, but you know, thank you very much to all the current and past staff that have been, been involved in the football club. Um, you know, it's just been amazing and that's what it is needed to be able to run a successful club. I just want to, you know, thank all my current and past players who've helped me to continue to enjoy the game. That's why I play football and I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, we, I, I don't know how many players would have played with, but I've been fortunate enough to play with a lot. Um, some's been a long time, some, some only a short journey, but it's, it's just, it's the best thing about playing footy um, is playing with your mates and being aiming to be a successful team um, and just having a bigger cause than yourself. But with that, I'd like to uh, special mention to the players that helped start up the club um, in, the, in the late 80s and the early 90s. I think it certainly uh, helped us um, with be a successful club and set the standard that we all need to continue to drive today. I got um, yeah, a few mates in football. Um, got been a play for 18 years, so you, you tend to get a few good mates, which is brilliant. But um, uh, Matthew Prudis and Mark Lecra have been fantastic for when I first got into the club. Um, just yourselves, but you know, your family opening up your doors to me coming from South Australia. I um, very much appreciative of you and your families and now your current families as well. Might be able to do a bit more fishing um, with you, Lekker, but um, seeing you sunk your boat, mate, I might need to buy one myself. <laughs> the um, West Coast fans and the um, Western Australian football public, um, you show up every single week to support the team. Um, no matter what the ladder position is or the weather. So thank you very much for that. And many other people that have helped me um, along my way to be the person and the player I am. I'll be able to get to a few of um, yourselves, but you know, we really appreciate that. And for me, you know, finally, the, 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 my main enjoyment is my love of the game and sport. Um, I've, just, I've just been very much indebted to it and always will be. Um, you know, from Auskick to AFL level, from country to the city, I just think everyone can be a part of sport, no matter what, what your ability or your size or your speed or your age is. That's why we all play sport. Um, it's just a wonderful game and I've just been so thankful to be able to play it for so long and to be here at West Coast. I keep saying it doesn't matter what, you know, what stage of the game it is or what the scoreboard says you can still challenge yourself to win the next contest and help your mate. And that's what I've always aimed to do. Football provides an opportunity to be involved in something bigger than yourself. And it gives you a sense of belonging and brings communities together.
to me, it's as simple as that. I haven't lost sight of this and the joy that it brings many people, but especially myself along the way. So thank you very much. And hopefully we can have a few more wins as a club before the season finishes. Thank you. Shannon, congratulations on your career. Was this a decision that you knew was coming at the start of this season or has it progressed along um, the way? Yeah, it's, well, uh, <clears throat> it's probably progressed as the year's gone on. Uh, by that I mean, because I've been around for so long, I've, I've, I've seen a few players retire over their period of time, you know, like Dean Cox, Darren Glass, um, great influences on me. And uh, to me, that realised that it, it happens. Even though you don't think it does, it does. And then uh, a couple of great mates in Matty Prudis and Lecker. So I always aimed towards the end of my career is if that was the last year, it would be the last year. Um, but that's how I wanted to play, play my game because you never know when that could be. Um, yeah, we've had many players that don't be able to play one game and then they've had an injury and they can't, they can't play again. So at the start of the year, I thought that it always potentially was going to be. And um, probably about halfway through the year, uh, to, to, for myself, I thought that was it. Just because it takes so long for the body to recover. Um, still want to be able to try to play at a high level, um, but the body just takes too long to recover these days. And um, the game needs you to be fully invested. And I just don't think I'd be able to do that next year. So you didn't have one more pre-season in you? Well, it depends if what the pre-season looked like with Simo, but um, probably not, no, no. Now you've made the announcement, what are you feeling? Is there a sense of relief or...? Uh, uh, I, I think it's all of those, like all of them. Um, now I just, you know, I'm indebted to the game. Um, I, I've been so happy and fortunate to be able to play for so long. Um, you know, it's sad at the same time, but you can't... You, you know, life life moves forward, and the game keeps going, going, going on, as we all know. So it's it's all of those yeah range of emotions of sadness that um, much like still play a couple more games. Sadness that uh, you know you can't play because what I love doing, but also so happy and fortunate enough that I've been able to do it. Because um, I said like some people don't get the opportunity to, and some only for a game. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to do it for 18 years. JK went out with eight goals. What's the defender's version of that? Hopefully not having eight goals kicked on you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't know, mate. Yeah, like um, uh, I've always wanted to be consistent and 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 like play my role and be hard to play on. And when you're younger, uh, I think especially in the back line, you don't quite have the tools. And what I mean by that is you've never had to defend when you've in your underage, um, I think natural ability gets you there. And then I think it takes players five years to be able to get enough um, craft to be able to be um, sufficient at it. So, yeah, for me, I, I, I don't know what that will look like, but uh, I, I really hope it's a win. And, um, yeah, I, I hope I can contribute as well as I can. What was it like, Shannon, for you telling your teammates? Was it an emotional? Um, well, yes, it is internally. Um, yes, it is, and it was. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to uh, just just have a good relationship with a lot of players and the playing group. And um, you know, I've still got like I've still got a lot of mates in there, but all well, my mates finished a little bit, so I was just hanging around all the young fellas. And um, you know, I've still got you know like a lot of players like you know Nick Nack, Luke Shuey. Um, Gov, Tommy Barras, you know, Darling, Yoey, Gaffey, Cripper. So, you know, it was hard, but um, I just, yeah, it was hard, mate, yes. Yeah. With, those, with those young guys that you, you mentioned, what sort of legacy have you tried to leave with them or lessons along the way? Yeah, well, I think one of the things about um, legacies is, is, you know, adding 
to the club's legacy. I mean, I know there's um, people that can influence um, time in the history of the club and everything, but um, I've just wanted to try to add, just add to that to make it a better place. Uh, when I say better place, like to make it a better place. Um, yeah, same thing. And um, uh, again, just when I was younger and first came in, players were very um, open with their time, um, helping me trying to get better and asking for some advice. And that's what I've really wanted to be able to try to do in the last, well, ex like for a long time when I've just realised that's that's what the game's about. Um, you know, young blokes are always wanting to have some sort of direction. Um, they want to know what the game's about. And part of that is helping to guide them along the way, but also letting them work it out for themselves. So it's a fine balance with that. But um, I've always tried to be open so they can come and have a chat. and. More importantly, you know, just, just set a good example and be a good sounding board for them. You leave, leave with an incredible resume. Do you look back and think, wow, like, I never thought I could achieve all that? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Um, I've never really been one for looking back too much. I just, it's always about the next next thing. Um, but, you know, having been able to make, make the decision that I have, I've looked back a little bit of my career and as I said before, I just think I've been so fortunate enough to um, be able to do what I've been able to do um, for, for such a long period of time and it, and it, it does go quick. Um, so I'll, I'll be able to sit down and think about it more and reminisce, um, especially once the season's done with numerous, numerous players and su supporters and, and staff at the club. Um, but I've still got my eye on finishing Phoenix and year as well as we can. Can you stay involved in footy or is it back to the farm? Uh, well, I think there'll be both of those options at some stage. I really enjoyed the farm, farm upbringing that I had. Um, and back there, I've had so many mates that are still there and, and helped me along the way. Footy, as I said, footy is what I love. Um, and I really enjoy watching players grow and um, enjoying the game for their own reasons, but for the right reasons. But I think initially, initially I'm just going to have a break from from football. Um, just got done it for so long, and it's more, it's more just to, um, just to just to do something different, just bit 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 different experience. And, you know, footy is a great game, but it's a bubble at the same uh, same time. So it's just about to step out of that and do a few different things. Address uh, urban legend. Were you banned from the gym at one stage of your career for being too buff? Um, well, I got too big there one time. Um, I first came in, and I've uh, everyone. Everyone's got different. That's what I said. Like everyone's got different body shapes and sizes. Um, yeah, you know, I wish I could run six minute two k, but I can't. And some blokes probably wish they can bench press. Um, um, you know, a lot of weight. So yeah, I, I got, I got, uh, I got. That's it. That's it. Um, but yeah, I got a bit. I got a bit. Uh, when I say heavy, is yeah, I, I did. I, I put on like, um, I think it was eight eight kilos in about three months of just being in the gym. Um, yeah, doing three sessions, four sessions a week. So I had to cut that back. Yeah. yeah. Shannon, is it difficult leaving the club at this stage where the club is at for the struggles this season? Well, you, you always want to, um, you always want the team to be going well and the playing group to be going well. So we've been aiming to do that with the senior players, for, you know, especially the last couple of years, just with unfortunately how it's been. So yes, it is tough, but the people we've got around the club um, continue to help and support the, the players. So I think when I say it, it, it's, it's not an issue, the people that we've got are helping and will help and um, are setting a good example. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, we, we, we will be fine, but it takes, uh, I spoke to the players, it takes hard work, commitment and sacrifice. So everyone wants to help that, but f as a player, you need to individually do, do that yourself, not, not, not rely on others. If you have um, one piece of advice to give young players coming into the game looking to achieve longevity in yeah. the league, what would it be? Um, I, I, I think it's just look, do your best and be the best you can be. Uh, I spoke about it to the, to the players is 
Um, no one wants to make a mistake in life. And what I mean by that is, you know, no one wants to drop a mark or miss a goal, but it happens. And because there's so much, um, well, so many opinions and um, scrutiny on the game that can get um, challenged uh, for the playing for the players. So it's it's to to do your best, um, learn from your mistakes, and and get up and have another go. Adam, how would you describe the imprint that Shannon's made on this club? Wow. I've mentioned a few times about le legacy players that we have at our club and really fortunate to be in an era with, with several and Shannon's at the top. So um, I don't think in my time as a coach or a player I've seen someone respected so much as Bung. And it's come, it comes off the back of a couple of things. One, obviously the type of player he is. But the main one is how he goes about it during the week. And, um, you know, he mentioned about be the best you can be. That's what he's done for 18 years, which is remarkable because... I don't think I've seen anyone be able to do it for that long. And his body's let him down a little bit at the back end of his year, but not his mind. Um, and not the way he goes about it. He's probably our best player on the weekend. And he finished second in the best and first last year. So I can keep thinking back to the, my first my first or second year when we, we lost Glassy round four, I think it was. And we rotated the captaincy. And um, I'm not sure if you are in the leadership group back then. You might have been. But by the end of the so, year, yeah. the, um, the players voted and it was unanimous um, for, for the next captain, which was at the time a little bit unorthodox. It wasn't really an obvious choice, but internally it was. And through his leadership and the way he goes about it, I think our players have really grown behind him. And it hasn't been with the fanfare. It's been um, just so consistent. So I'm so proud he got rewarded with a, the with a premiership and he was able to captain the side the way he did. And then he stepped aside when the time was right for him and, and for the club and he's mentored this group like you wouldn't believe. So we'll miss him in that sense as well as on field. So can't speak highly enough. Um, anyone who meets him knows what I'm talking about. And um, what you see is what you get. What are, sorry, um, what were some of the qualities that you saw in Shannon when you first got to the club that made you think, you know, you can definitely succeed as a captain? He's got a good kick. <laughs> uh, I think um, we all lead differently. So one thing that um, you know the best leaders do, they're just themselves. So I didn't see one change in his approach to anything once he got the, got the gig, which is a really good sign that you're comfortable in your own skin. And um, you know we're all different. Some people like to get up and talk. Some people just like to lead by actions. So I think, um, speaking on behalf of the players, the one-on-one -on -one interaction, I think, is the Bung's biggest asset and how he gets the best out of people that way. And then he leads by example. So that, that's pretty basic, but it's it's so so true. Um, you know, so you know what he's done for the club, we're, in, we're indebted to him. Shannon, the kicking is legendary. Yeah, do, you, do you credit that to the sister? To the sister, sister, yeah, definitely, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, well, it's, it's it's like anything; it takes uh, practice and um, hey, as everyone has different strengths and different things and. From the early days, uh, my, my dad and my coaches taught me um, just about doing the basic technique well, um, and I'll just liken that to you know it's, it's just similar to handwriting. So everyone's um, handwriting's slightly different, but you need to do the basics well on that, um, and that's just what I I had like it's just a it's just a simple ball drop and uh, follow through pretty much, <laughs> and uh, practice it and figure it out there. Yeah. <laughs> Anything top the uh, the flag? No, well, that's what I, that's what you play football for is to be able to achieve that together as a group. Um, so it certainly definitely is a highlight. Um, but I just think as well, just all the friendships and relationships that I've been able to get, um, yeah, throughout my well, my whole sporting career in my time here at West Coast. You mentioned it's your intention to play the home games. Yep. Does that mean you're not going to play the away games? Or is that the plan? Yep, no, that's right. Yeah, I was always going to have a bit of a plan. As, as Simo said, the you know, body just takes longer to recover these days and we've had a few six-day breaks um, off the flight, which so just makes it just a bit bit harder. Um, so the plan was always to um, uh, miss this week against Essendon and then definitely the last two home games and then we'll work out and see how the Western Bulldogs game goes. Looking back at that premiership back in 18, uh, the fact that you went through some tough years with the club in the late 2000s and um, you know sort of gone through a rebuild phase, did it make it that much sweeter in 18 knowing that you'd 
stuck it out during that time? Um, with hanging around, you're saying? Um, no, I, th I think I think it would have been a sweet, regardless of what happened before there, as I said, because it's what play footy for. Um, it's obviously been documented at times, but I think you know the history that the players have done for the football club through the 90s and early 2000s and um, what we're trying to achieve now has been immense for the group. So, um, no, it was would have been nice to win a few more. We only won the one, but um, no, it was certainly very enjoyable. Aside from the flag, Shannon, what else was special about that year for you and the, the themes that you had as a group? Um, well, every every workplace and team pretty much has a trademark, and um, we, you know, that was been around, and it's one of the things that Simo helped bring to the playing group and to the club, and the players added from that was it's well, you know, spoken about with the family, friends, and flags. Um, uh, having a, having a driven group helped that, and that's what we wanted to to achieve. Um, you know, I wanted to win premierships. Um, we spoke about um, family and friends, and that that included like your immediate um, family, like you, you know where you where you come from, your background, your journey, and your friends are like like that that as well. But then at the footy club, and then on the bigger picture of that, you know like the whole West Coast fan base and everyone and the and the staff, that's that's pretty much how we approached it. So we knew we were representing us, us, but also. Um, yeah, the whole of West Coast Eagles, everyone's involved. So that was pretty much our, our motivation. And yes, it's well done that we work, uh, we, that we won. But that's 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 why I think we we did so well after being um, five goals down in the first quarter because we um, had a common cause that we and we wanted to achieve something together. Um, we we yeah we lived out we lived out that trademark. Yep. Thank you.